the hospital car, what what you call the, the ambulance, the ambulance mm -hmm. yes. between the accident and the hospital. So what, what, but there are technologies which can now be used, and this is, and we use this, we use this actually, this very example today in our presentation about this, what we developed as, a, as an enabler, in how we can advise and help governments develop technologies, information and, 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 uh, and telecommunication technologies in, in, in the process of handling a, a, a victim or a patient on his way to the hospital and not just waiting for him to arrive to the hospital to be treated. So what I'm talking about is a, a whole telecommunication. Why? Because we need, while the, while the patient is in the ambulance, to connect him to the hospital, to the, to the, to the serving the doctor, and give to the, to the doctors in the car the necessary information, also match, it, match his, uh, his medical file, et, et cetera. So it's, it's unbelievable what, how much information, technology, and telecommunication can help improve the health sector, for example. In the economic sector and in poverty, of course, the same, the same thing applies. How can we aid farmers, for example, where there are no facilities for them to have access to modern technology available to us here in New York through mobile telephony? But what, how can mobile telephony be helpful to a, a, a small farmer or to a small producer? So, so the, it's, it's, it's a huge world. What we did is we developed this animal. It's an animal. It, what we developed is not a, a, a program or a, or a software or a, or a, a, prog a, 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 a database. It's a portal of portals, yes, but that is only the resource for data, the resource as, da as data resource. But the, but the animal is a living thing including having in it virtual consultants who would advise you, including having simulations and development games. We want to, in, to encourage students and the youth in, and introduce them to the pro, pro, program of development through providing games on development, on ICT for development. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, all, an, a whole new world. And it's an innovation. It's the first of its kind. And uh, at the meeting today, we presented the first prototype of this. It was, the support was overwhelming. Not one single suspicious or dubious reaction. And it was unanimously applauded by everybody, governments, private sector, civil society, and academia. You, you made so many important comments. I won't go back and talk about all of them. But one I do want to mention, you commented a minute ago about how the world is united. The, the 192 countries at the United Absolutely. Nations have come together yeah. to mobilize and to yeah. focus on these eight very sustain, very yeah. achievable goals. Yeah. Yeah. And that is very unique because countries, we live in a very diverse world. Mm. We, we have 192 countries, there are 6.7 billion people. Mm -hmm. But the UN encompasses all of the countries of the world. It encompasses all of the languages, all of the religions, mm -hmm. all of the mm -hmm. economic systems. And that is remarkable that, that they have come. And they agree on more things at the UN, as you know, yeah. than they disagree on. But, it, but they have agreed on the eight millennium development goals. But I would like to go to your PREPCOM. You mentioned PREPCOM, yep. the preparatory committee or commission. Yep, exactly. And that was held September 1st, 2nd, 2010 at the yes, United Nations. Absolutely. Very, very intensive, extensive absolutely. meetings. Tell us, what were some of the major conclusions that came mm. out of that, that meeting? L let me start with the theme. And the theme is very interesting because we're talking South South. Because I tried to make very clear that what we're talking about is a program for the South. This is not intended for an American or a, or a Japanese. But the nice part of it is that the American and the Japanese are involved in it as partners. In other words, they are providers of the, of the, of the know-how, the technology, the resources and the users, the developing world, are the recipients. So it's a partnership, and it's a partnership. It's a beautiful partnership because it's a partnership not based on on any financial interest, but it's based on future benefits. Because 
it will be a better world if we could help the developing world to, be, to become developed. It will create markets for the developed world. It will create better partners and a better community. Now, the consensus of the meeting today, we had the developing world represented. We had the developed world, particularly major companies. All major companies were there. And what, I, were, what were some of the major companies? Microsoft, um, uh, Cisco, mm -hmm. Intel. Giants, Int giants. Intel, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, Telefonica. Um, all uh, Siemens, every, every, all the major companies of the world uh, practically were there. And uh, they were all not only committed, but enthused. In fact, in fact, the next, the next meeting will be at the headquarters of, 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 uh, of Microsoft because they said they made a pledge at the meeting to offer their technology, to offer their resources, and their networking all over the world in order to promote and develop this project and also to market it. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, commitments from Intel. Intel, of course, has always been in the leadership. In fact, I sit in this chair as chairman of GATE as a successor to Craig Barrett, who is the f former chairman of GATE and uh, 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 Intel, Intel, Intel Corporation, mm -hmm. CEO of Intel Corporation. And I'm, I'm, his, I'm number two as chair. I took over from him. So Intel has been, from the very beginning, very committed. So we, we, have, we have this spirit of major Western and developed world companies and governments. We had some very strong statements from countries like Germany, Italy, Finland is a great supporter, of course the US, and, uh, and, and they, they are wholeheartedly supporting something which is for, this, for the benefit of the South. Now, I'm sure that many of our viewers would like to get more information on this, and they can go to www.un-gaid.org and get much more information. And I'm sure that a lot of people are very interested in this, not only as it may impact their lives and their businesses, mm -hmm. but also their, their societies. Because as I, you mentioned, yeah. as the societies improve, the standard of living improves, mm -hmm. The, the quality of life, it's beneficial for everybody. You have a better world. A better world, without a and, doubt. And, and uh, so to, to save time, uh, in a few days we will be putting on the website the resolutions of the, of the meeting, uh, or the conclusions which you asked uh, uh, about, but the conclusions are basically, basically all geared for how we can, as quickly as possible, and our launch is, is expected to be in, in March, that will be a living animal for use by everybody in the world for free. It's a free, it's a free use program. Mm -hmm. It's not a program. I, I have, that's why we, call, we had to call it enabler, because it is much more than a program. It's a catalyst. It's, it's a catalyst. <laughs> that's right. It's, okay. a, it's, it, it's, a, it's an, a tool and a vehicle and an engine for accelerating and advancing economic development. I will be back here in, in, uh, again on the, on the 19th for a high-level presentation of this program on the 21st uh, under the patronage of the Secretary General. And we will be reporting on the results of this PREPCOM to this high-level meeting. And of course, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has been very involved in this whole process. And this is actively his participating in it and supporting it. This is his, his, his project. We are working under his leadership, under his guidance. And I think, I think, as I said, if this has to succeed, we need the leverage and the name and the support of the Secretary General. And we have it. Mm -hmm. We are very proud the Secretary General is leading us and guiding us and supporting us. Well, we're just about out of time. Let me ask you as a last question, how would you encourage people in, regardless of what the country may be, Malaysia or wherever it might be, Ecuador or wherever, how would you encourage them to participate and, first off, learn more about this very interesting project, to learn more about the Millennium Development Goals and participate? This was one of the decisions of, today, of this meeting. This meeting which we held, uh, at this BREPCOM, one of the, uh, a great focus was on outreach and how to engage the multi-stakeholder global community. So we, will, we are developing an action plan addressed to the policymaker who is the beneficiary 
to the users who are the technicians who will be working and to the people who will be using it. So uh, in, in, in general, we are developing a, a public awareness and an outreach campaign, but that will only happen after we have, we're developing it now. But we are already actually the whole meeting, many, many of the participants voiced their, the same question you read. Well, it's, it's an excellent program. It's an excellent animal, but how do we make it available and how do we get everybody engaged? The answer is, yes, we are going to do that. Well, Mr. Talal Abu Ghazale, I want to thank you so very much for a very well, interesting and a very informative program. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm Bill Miller. Thank you for joining us on South South News.